round two of the Israeli Cup. Let's do it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. How are you today? My name is Nitzan Steinberg, Grandmaster, and today we will see the round two of the tournament when I played against Team Rehovot with the international master Igor Bitansky, you know, is very good friend and also one of, you know, the best captains that I remember in Israeli uh, national team that he was uh, the captain of the young uh, national team until age of 18. I, uh, I was under him two years when we played and uh, twice we got a very good achievement one time uh, we we took the second place in european it's just unbelievable and the the other time the next time we took the first place it's you know like just uh, don't have words to explain and a lot of it because uh, uh, igor bitansky you know is very good and strong a player and also very good in psychological things you know uh, to combine people together and you know like to unite them to one team uh, it's really really important and thank you very much Igor for all you have done for me and also uh, for the team so ladies and gentlemen don't forget something very important we are in 550 subscribers 58 videos so don't forget to like the video and also subscribe my channel with uh, you know like to put the, the ring for all uh, to have a notification and updates for anything that I'm uploading so let's start with the game I'm with the black pieces against Igor Bitansky so he's playing knight f3 as always I played uh, with him in the same team I think uh, for like four maybe five maybe six years uh, in Petach Tigva, so he's, he likes to play knight d3, g3, bishop g2, d3, knight bd2, like king's Indian, but with white pieces. So let's see how it gone. So d5, g3, knight d7. My point, you know, first of all, just a little bit to 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 move from his uh, preparation, from from his knowledge. Don't forget the time control is 15 minutes uh, per player, of course, with five seconds uh, increment per each move so knight d7 you know my point that i want to play e5 and after d4 i will play the move knight b6 and uh, is not you know i'm not allowing c4 but okay so i play bishop f5 e6 h6 knight f6 bishop h7 bishop d6 oh sorry bishop d6 c6 maybe a5 a4 something around it and you know black is fine so it's you know it's interesting to see but he played the move bishop g2 uh, of course after e5 d3 and as i said king's indian with white pieces so knight g f6 castle and now c6 and you know this move c6 was just you know like to 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 um, to blockade somehow this diagonal for the bishop on g2 uh, i i also know that he really likes this diagonal for the bishop and c6 is like also uh, protecting this very important uh, center pawn and also you know like uh, in the, in the next future also blocking this bishop on g2 so he played the move c4 and now you know i was very I, I was not sure how to play because I, I played a lot of games, you know, in the bullet arena in the last week, I think, against uh, Rasmus Vein. And there was something like bishop d6, takes, takes, bishop g5, I think, or maybe knight c3 instead. Yeah, knight c3, I think, castle, bishop g5, sorry, yeah, h6, takes, takes. And somehow queen b3, knight d2, oh, sorry. <laughs> what I'm doing knight d2 of course and this bishop is a little bit annoying me and this pawn uh, sorry not bishop of course on d5 the pawn on d5 and you know like I have two bishops but the pawns are weak on e5 d5 b7 and I should you know like think how I I'm solving this problem so I didn't like this position so I you know what I said okay I will take this pawn I will go for an, a position that I don't no at all and just play chess because it's a rapid game you know it's not a long classical game just playing chess so he took the pawn bishop e7 knight c3 and now i played a very you know a uh, strange move i think i played the move h6 i didn't like the move bishop g5 
for uh, for my opponent because I thought like some of Bishop Castle, Bishop G5, for example. I think H6 take takes a knight e4 and some on knight d6 and i don't know b4 c5 and my my point you know my pieces are not uh, very good and of course knight f6 is not good because of knight takes c5 so yeah I, I didn't like it so i played the move prophylactic move h6 uh, and that's it so queen c2 castle knight h4 knight c5 knight a5 and now i thought that in this position i i you know during the game i thought that my 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 move here was a very good move but unfortunately the computer didn't you know like didn't um agree with me 100%. My point that was to play rook to e8. My point was just to play bishop f8 and if knight takes e7 I will take with my queen and this is the bishop that I want I didn't want to have, right? Because I I understand that this bishop on g2 is not so good because of this pawn on c6 and this bishop of course is it can be good after b3 bishop a3 but you know I, I thought that maybe you know like I will my bishop will be better here than the bishop on e7 so for for example one option was just to take this knight queen takes and queen c7 and to play rook d8 knight e6 but i felt like this bishop on, on e7 will not you know okay i will put on here on c5 he, he this bishop from e7 to c5 but okay he will play e3 and this bishop don't have some square very good uh, you know like to play to work with so this is this is very important for me so rook e8 was played knight takes c7 queen takes c7 and now b3 so you know i i understand that knight e7 was his choice but i thought in the game to play rook d1 for him queen c7 now b3 bishop f8 bishop b2 maybe something like this uh, like this because this knight is strong enough uh, in on f5 so I, I i'm not sure about knight x7 but he took it because he, he really likes two bishops and um, okay i cannot say anything about it because i also like two bishops so queen takes and b3 makes a lot of sense to play bishop a3 bishop b2 maybe but i played the move knight to e6 i didn't like the option to to give him the opportunity to play bishop a3 and this pin is not, uh, really annoying me right so I, I bring the knight to e6 with maybe a plan to play knight d4 so now i think that you know like in in a uh, in chess perspective maybe it's, it's not was you know it was not a bad move by my opponent but you know in 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 real you know like sportsman and you know like into the game move I, i'm not sure about it he played the move e3 and after e3 you can see these all squares are the white squares are a little bit weak and i can you know the first move that i thought about is to play a uh, knight to g5 but unfortunately after h4 knight h3 king h2 knight g4 of course king h1 because king h3 is a blunder knight takes a3 and the queen is under attack because bishop uh, is checking the king so king h1 and now i don't have nothing to do right i maybe take 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 and I don't know, bishop g4, but e4, yeah, two bishops, uh, you know, two pieces for a rook, it's it's really great for, for white. Of course, one pawn, but it's nothing, I think black is, is worse here. So, in this position after e3, I thought, like, how can I, how can I uh, find the, the solution to have some white squares here? I played the move h5. My point was just to play h4, h3 somehow, and you know, these squares will be very weak, the white squares. So I thought in, during the game that h4 was the best move by, by my opponent. And you know, during the game I thought maybe g5, takes, takes with knight h3, maybe h4, maybe bishop g4, maybe knight h3, something like this. But unfortunately, it's not working because after h4, g5, queen f5, it's really, really strong, I think. And you know what? White will attack here. After knight e4, knight takes, bishop takes, and queen h7 check. Whoa, maybe I'm losing here already. So yeah, it's not looking good. So I, I, I think that after h4, maybe knight f8, uh, something around bishop g4, queen e6, bishop h3, maybe knight g6, maybe knight uh, h7. Of, of course knight 8 h7 yeah it's 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 really 
uh, you know, unbalanced position to play. But he played the move knight to e4. And now, you know, I, I forgot about something very, very beautiful in this position. You must see it, you know, you can uh, stop the video. It's, it's really, it's really not simple. It's hard to, to think about, but you can stop the video and write in the comment below what do you think about this position? What is the best variation for black? Because in this position, unfortunately, I missed the winning idea. Uh, I played the move h4, but there was just absolutely amazing idea by the black pieces. Just take the knight, queen takes, knight g5, but in this position I thought in the game that queen h4 and okay, I don't know, I don't know what to do because bishop g4, f3, but oh no, knight takes f3, bishop takes and g5 and the queen is trapped, unbelievable. But the game is not over, bishop to a3, right? After queen takes a3, just queen takes g5. So queen d8 is the only move, right? Because queen f6, just bishop takes g4, and yeah, of course, white is winning. So queen d8, and now queen takes h5, unbelievable move. Bishop takes, and bishop takes, and you know this position, this particular position, um, the computer is saying, I, I think that computer said that this is winning position for black, but I, I'm not sure at all because these extraordinary bishops, right? Wow, they are doing so good job here. Rook a d1, rook here is doing great. The f7 pawn is under attack. The king is not safe. I'm not sure about it, but but I, yeah, I, of course it, it, sh it should be winning for black, but it's not so simple. So 94 was a bad, better position, of course, uh, a better variation for the black because the trap for the queen, but I played the move h4, and after bishop b2, I take the, the knight on e4, queen takes, and now h3, the best move in the position, after bishop takes, just knight g5, and a double attack here, of course, with a bishop also, so black is winning a piece, after bishop h1, knight g5, and e4, and in this position, black is just winning absolutely, because this bishop, unfortunately, is just dead, right, and we are playing with peace up, and this is our, you know, like this is our goal to, you know, like to, to just exchange all the pieces into the game and we have a bishop up and we can win it, right? So queen f4, I played the move f6, you know, a very, you know, important move because you are blocking this bishop, right? And also protecting this very important g uh, g5 knight. And yeah, it's it, it, it's really balanced move, right? Rook f d1, bishop d7, and now queen d6. White is just helping me somehow to, you know, to exchange all the pieces. Bishop g4 takes, takes, rook d4. And now in this position, I really blundered uh, uh, the, the idea for white. Uh, just c5 was a winning idea, absolutely. Rook d5, b6. And yeah, he's just playing without the bishop. And it's game over, right? You know, rook d7, just uh, sacrifice, you know, like exchanging all the pieces, bringing the king, and you know, this bishop on h1 will bring the the white, the lost of the game. So, uh, unfortunately, I played the move rook to e8, and now you know what? You can stop the video and think about a very beautiful move for the white. It's really, really beautiful, and I must say, I admit it, I forgot about it. I missed it, so you can find it. It's really, really amazing. So he played the move f4, and unfortunately, after e takes the three, rook takes g4, and oh no, we can lose it, right? So we are down a piece. It's bad, bad, bad. So after f4, I have, you know, I have luck from God. I have 96, and after rook takes e4, just bishop f5, and this rook is under attack, but of course, rook takes a6, of course, rook takes bishop d4, Rook d8, bishop e4, it seems to be winning for black, but it's not so easy at all in this position already. So because this bishop is coming to live after bishop f3, and I don't know, it's not so easy to understand how can I win it softly. So rook d6, and now f5, and this bishop is just game over for him. And yeah, rook d7, b6, rook f1, and in this position, just rook a d8 was a clever idea. Rook takes a7, just rook d2, bishop c3, rook c2, bishop e5, rook d8, rook a7, rook d2, rook takes e6, just rook h2, the next move will be coming back, and h2, and yeah, it's, it's just game over, and black is 
winning absolutely but unfortunately I played the move g6 and another inaccuracy by me in this game and after I played this move g6 I Im immediately realized that it was not the best move because of bishop f6 and now I'm not sure how can I you know um, just uh, exchange the pieces right because rook d8 is not working at all right right now so I'm not sure how to, how, how I deal on this position maybe rook f8 rook f7 but yeah, it's not so easy at all in this position because bishop can can go to h4. So let's do it quickly. Rook f2, rook d8. We are exchanging all the pieces, and in this position, he's playing without the bishop. So uh, it's it's really uh, you know like very simple for black to play. Uh, I'm opening all the pieces, uh, all the position, and just to play knight before wants to bring the knight to d3 to f2. So after bishop takes, king takes, king c2, bishop h5, and the game is over. And of course, after king b2, for example, bishop f3 takes, takes, and the queen will be promoted. So in this position, after yeah, after bishop h5, my opponent, my good friend Igor Bitensky, um, resigned his game. So until now, two out of two in the Israeli Cup. Let's go. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget the like the smash smash it smash the like button and also subscribe my channel thank you very much and see you in the next video round three oh you know what i know you want to know who it will be so it will be uh, sorry let's see it who it will be i played against uh, international master i think right yes you have milikau with white pieces so let's see what happened there bye bye my friends